Hey, hey Libra, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your February 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right. Hello, Libra. Welcome to February. Your key themes this month, you have clarity, new life, followed by memories. Now, the bottom of the deck here, possibly what you don't see coming or what's going on subconsciously, you have animal kingdom, which a lot of times these are lessons around companionship, around unconditional love and support from those around you, from your guides, but most importantly, from your own self, trusting in your higher self to make decisions that are in your highest good. And you have self-love right behind it. This talks about compassion. It talks about acceptance. I feel like there is an energy here of empowerment. You have three major arcana showing up in the month of February and your belief system may be shifting altogether because you do have the tower showing up here, Libra. So there is something big around self-talk, around reprogramming, feeling more empowered. To, to make choices that are in your highest good. That is the ultimate act of self-love. And for a lot of you, that was a lesson. Hard earned here for some of you with the animal kingdom. Some of you have a very strong connection or tie to the animal realm, whether this is your own pets or animals. This could be one that's crossed over the rainbow bridge as well as maybe connecting to animals in nature, totems. You may be receiving signs through dreams. So pay attention to the animals that do show up in your world in the month of February. Now, starting off, you have clarity showing up. You're going to get a deep sense of clarity or understanding, or again, some sort of awareness or acceptance around a situation that's been difficult or challenging. I like that this is showing up because I keep hearing crystal clear. And we actually see the crystal right there on the beach. So you're going to get crystal clear about a situation where perhaps you've been feeling a little bit indecisive on, or you just weren't quite sure. There is full blown clarity coming in for you this month. This is about truth. And we actually have the seven of swords showing up in your energy. So there's some sort of truth. It's like the cat is out of the bag, or you have this this truth within yourself that you are honoring and it's helping you move forward into a new life. This is about answers, solutions, direction, and the path being made very clear for you, Libra. So I really like the energy of clarity starting off the month. It may have even been that big full moon in Leo or the energy of Aquarius, your fellow air sign showing up for you that's leading you towards this new life. This is all about transformation. And Libra, if you've been going through it, which I know a lot of you have, especially in the last six months, ever since even September, October energy of 2023, this is all about transformation. It's about rebirth, fresh starts, and a lot of personal development and self growth coming in here for you. This is about a new journey and I feel like you are about to embark on a new journey. However, on your path towards happiness, love, success, health, whatever direction you are moving in, you're going to have some memories that creep in from the past, right? This is about not letting the memories pull you back into that old paradigm. Okay. We can create new memories and we can look at past lessons and past experience as teachable moments, but we don't have to go back and repeat them. That's a message coming up now. For some of you, you may even be writing more. You could be vlogging, journaling. Maybe you're writing a, a memoir as well. This is about history. Okay. The good old days. Some of you may even be looking into a situation when things felt a little bit simpler. Uh, but the message here is don't romanticize the past. 
It is about you loving and nurturing the experiences that you've gone through and maybe even looking at it from a new perspective. Instead of taking a walk down memory lane and saying, I really hate that person for what they did, They're, they caused a lot of pain or that person was so toxic. I feel like you're coming out of these memories and these experiences and you're not romanticizing them, but there's a sense of gratitude at the end. There's a sense of, wow, I, I am forgiving that person or I did go through that experience or I've accepted that I wasn't my best version. So I am getting accountability here, but also you're seeing the truth of a situation and maybe that truth was you taking a look at some of your own shadows as well. It could be taking a look at some of the reasons why things happened the way that they did. Now, it's not excusing anyone's behavior, but I feel like you're seeing things from a new light and that could be what you're getting clarity or clear on. But because you're getting that clarity now, it's not going to suck you back into that old life or that old energy. That's why you have this new life because you've learned some very valuable lessons by going through those challenges, Libra, that you went through in the past. All right. And those lessons I feel have everything to do with unconditional love versus conditional love. It has to do with support, emotional support from family, from friends, from lovers, or in specific relationships. It has to do with you and your self-worth coming to a place of feeling more independent versus possibly codependence for some of you, having that confidence to maybe even heal the heart chakra or the solar plexus. And again, taking a deep dive into your belief systems. What is true for you? What aligns with your values, with your integrity? So you're definitely, and look at this, we also have trust. So trust could have been a factor when it comes to this healing, because we also see the seven of swords. So perhaps there was a breach of trust in the past. Maybe there was something around fidelity or infidelity. Maybe there were secrets. Okay. But this is about getting honest. It says honest assessment here in order to change your perspective. Okay. Some of you could be receiving a message as well. I'm going to stop at that, but there's a lot coming in subconsciously, but you're intuitive Libra. You know that these changes are taking place. So there could be some incoming news. And I see that showing up maybe even towards mid to end of February with this page of swords. All right. So starting off here, we have your energy Empress. This is Libra and Taurus. It's all about Venus. And we actually have uh, Pluto entering Venus, or excuse me, I think it's Jupiter and Venus in February. A huge shift for you when it comes to matters of the heart. When this Empress shows up and she was your first card out, this is about mutual trust, right? And because we see that trust is or was an issue, there is something along the lines of getting clarity about, about trusting in yourself, trusting in another, trusting in a dynamic. And if that's something that had came to a halt or came crashing down with the tower, a lot of you are rebuilding that self-trust within yourself. Okay, and this is about taking a new leap of faith. This is affection. Some of you, this has to do with pregnancy or birth. This can, it doesn't have to be an actual child, but it's about birthing a new life, right, into being, which we see showing up in your key themes. When it comes to money, this is good fortune. This is about having options towards abundance, towards success. The Empress is one of the most abundant energies in tarot. And I feel like you have straight access. You have the clarity here to say yes to this new beginning. There could be incoming news that you are waiting on that you receive. I also see here, this is about you creating your own abundance. Libra, this is about you birthing something into creation, whether this is a business idea, something highly creative, uh, this can be a new opportunity where you feel like you are utilizing your creative skills. A lot of you may even be business owners or entrepreneurs, or that could be a big direction that you're thinking about going in because this Empress is highly abundant. And right next to it, we do have the tower. So two major arcana showing up right off the bat, expect some changes in the month of February. But I think these changes 
are really going to turn this this wheel right this wheel and we actually have another major arcana it's your third and final one which is the wheel of fortune showing up mid to end of february so the tower is coming in here to take a deep dive into your beliefs around abundance around love around finances around health so there may have been a few things or there are some things that are crashing down in your life and it's to stop old habits and old ways of not feeling good enough when the empress is showing up here in reverse which she didn't she showed up in the upright but when she does and i can guarantee here libra at some point or another you felt like the empress in reverse and that empress in reverse she can neglect her own well-being at the expense of others because she can be over nurturing she can be over mothering at times even and neglect her own self-love okay she can even put put a situation out by kind of snuffing a, a candle it's like putting a situation out because we put so much into it that we don't allow it to breathe we don't allow it to to grow or expand and so i feel like you are embracing all of you your masculinity your femininity there is this strong energy here around uh feeling creative feeling uh, maternal and sexy and fertile and you're growing here it doesn't matter what age you are or what sex but i feel like you are growing your confidence and in order to do so you are accepting if anything you may be the catalyst that is knocking down some of these towers some of the old beliefs in your life and attachments that you've had to wealth and status or to a relationship in order to come out on top and what i mean by on top is coming out where you're choosing you libra you're choosing to feel uh empowered a self-empowerment self-love you're choosing to trust in yourself first and foremost and when you start to shift your energy you start to attract other energies that align with you but in in order to raise your vibrations i feel like there's definitely some attachments or some faulty foundations that are being addressed in the month of february so next up you have the seven of swords and the queen of wands Whew. seven of swords is not the funnest energy it gets a bad rap for sneaking cheating lying trying to get away with things but it's partnered up with the queen of wands so i do feel like you've gone through again some sort of betrayal you've gone through some sort of betrayal whether you've betrayed yourself maybe your fight or flight responses kicked in and you had to turn into someone that you didn't like in order to survive maybe it was a part of you that your defenses came out your claws came out right you had to do what you had to do and or you felt like you were pressured into being someone that really isn't your 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 best side right this could be someone you were dealing with someone who wasn't always honest wasn't always truthful but what you've gained out of this experience right is confidence it is uh, allowing you to to move in a direction where you feel creative right some of you the worst that i see here could be insecurities jealousy it can be vengeful energy it can be with this queen of wands even though she is showing up here in the upright she can be very insecure so someone's insecurities and i feel like this is someone else the seven of swords is someone else around you it could be a family member could be a friend a lover a co-worker whoever right it's a situation or an energy that brought out your insecurities and you're realizing the truth of the situation that's where that clarity comes in there's a level of acceptance a level of responsibility but also a level of what am i worth right i i deserve more i deserve compromise or, or excuse me honesty where in the past maybe you've tried to seek out some sort of compromise this is using diplomacy this is about doing the right thing and i feel like it's also warning you about moving forward when it comes to anything that comes from the past because you do have the memory showing up here 
So the signs are cautioning you here. Don't romanticize the past. Don't let passion, lust, or desire get in the way of you knowing what you know, Libra. Or letting some sort of, you know, not just romanticizing the past, but this does remind me of the Six of Cups, which can be the card of buying affection, buying friendship. It can be trauma bonds. Sometimes we tend to go back to the past or a past relationship or a past person based on some trauma. But I feel like this Queen of Wands is saying, no, you're more confident than that. You've learned what you've needed to learn here, Libra. You have the clarity. Now it's time for you to get crystal clear on this new beginning, this new life, this new path that you've set out for yourself. Because the Queen of Wands, she's romantic, she's loyal, she can be highly busy. So it wouldn't surprise me if you are very busy in the month of February. Busy with career, with work, with relationships. Some of you, there could even be a new relationship coming in here for you. Or an existing one that may, may cause you to question everything. Okay, if this is career, I feel like you are letting go of that fight or flight, survival, right? Manifesting from a place of fear. What if I don't have enough? What if this job doesn't pay me? Or what if I, you know, a lot of the what ifs, a lot of the fears that come from a lack of self-confidence here. I feel like you're letting that go or it's something you're really working heavily towards because your final cards here, Libra, you have the wheel of fortune, which I love to see. And you also have the page of swords. Okay, Page of Swords energy is messages, which we've seen showing up. It can be news. It can be immaturity as well. It may have to do with children. For some of you, you could be manifesting here some shifts when it comes to children, childhood wounding or childhood healing. It could be even embracing the inner child, having more fun, opening yourself up more. But I also see that if there was a relationship or a situation that felt very immature, I feel like that's going to start to move forward by either releasing, getting clear about it, letting it go, because you've grown. You've grown into this empress energy here. And I feel if this has to do with maybe you, Libra, and a child, I feel like things are going to start to move forward here. Some of you are taking on some new projects. You may be studying. You may be taking a class or a workshop as well. Uh, Page of Swords, he's very, very curious, right? Sometimes he can get into some trouble. But I am getting with this Page of Swords energy. You're ready for a new challenge. You're ready to open yourself up. And you're curious here. You're curious about this wheel of fortune, which is destiny and fate. And I feel like for some of you, there is a new opportunity coming in for you when it comes to either love or career or health. And you are highly inquisitive. You're a researcher. You like to get to the nitty gritty details of the why, the how. But I feel like there's a situation here that is calling for you to trust intuitively. Okay, Wheel of Fortune is enjoying an improvement when it comes to relationships that may have been built on a faulty foundation, or you could be turning the wheel and moving towards more mature relationships, maybe that emperor energy. This is about what is in motion, brings success. So when it comes to career, there is something here that you have set in motion, whether it's you putting yourself out there, uh, it could be your resume, or maybe you've linked in and you hear some sort of news, okay? There's a new opportunity coming in here for you. The full moon in Leo could have been significant. We do see the lion here. We see the peace symbol, which is important as well. There's an energy here of letting go, completions that bring more peace into your life. It's also a balance between the feminine, the masculine, the yin, the yang energy. I also see here this strong Taurian energy. So April, May could be significant for you as well. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Some of you may see a major increase in your finances or in your love life around April or May, but it may stem from the energies put out in February. So this is a really beautiful turn of the wheel, Libra. You've been through a lot and trust that whatever towers 
have came crumbling down or you're still at times hanging on to with the memories, trust that life is happening for you. Trust that this new life is going to show up in a really wonderful form, but sometimes it's hard to see that when we're still trying to get out of the rubble that the tower has caused. Now, when it comes to career, wealth, money, and abundance, you have the gold bar. This came up almost immediately. This is about solid finances, Libra, investing, right? What are you investing in? Because you're going to start to see returns. This is about your values, aligning, your integrity. That has to do with your career, your belief system. This has to do with maybe long-term goals, long-term positions that you have for yourself. But it's also about satisfaction, being satisfied and loving what it is that you do, loving the services that you offer. I feel like a lot of you are building your stability with the Empress. Like I said, she's the most abundant here. So there is an energy of a full cornucopia, a full, uh, just feeling ripe, feeling, I'm, I'm just getting that a lot of you have been looking at your finances and you're getting yourself in a position here of power or making more. This is about manifesting possibly new income sources as well. But this is a really beautiful energy coming in. Some of you could be uh, in the banking system or maybe you're looking at changing banks, shifting banks. Uh, you could have new money coming into a bank account as well. I see that. I also see 999 on this gold bar. Uh, nines are about completions. So some of you, you are completing a, a financial cycle that could have been challenging or difficult and you're entering into a new cycle, a new beginning, a new paradigm. Now you have the gears and the spiral card showing up. <clears throat> so when the gears show up, this is about money flowing. You've been putting in the work here, Libra. You, you are putting your plans into motion. And one of the cards actually said that, right? Putting those plans into motion, the wheel of fortune. It's about building. Building your business, your reputation, your career, your money. It is also about teamwork. Uh, being part of a team. This can be, even if you are a solopreneur, you could be building a community online. You could be bringing in a new target market, maybe new employees that help your business grow or new professionals. I sense some of you could be taking some time off in the near future. Maybe you're going on a trip or you're traveling, uh, but you may be really busy this month preparing for that trip or that vacation. And this is about a sense of security. So for those of you that felt like your security was a little bit wobbly, I see here that you're going to start to feel more stable when it comes to your finances, wealth, and security. This is good. Now, the spiral does look like the wheel of fortune in a way, right? So yeah, things were out of control with the tower. Maybe you thought, oh my gosh, it's all crumbling down. What's going to happen now? This is an upward trend. That's the key word here, upward trends. It means that if you've hit some sort of bottom or if there's been some financial stress here, things are going to only start to move forward from here on out, Libra. Some of you could even be revisiting a job, maybe even a childhood dream with the page of swords showing up. You're getting curious about that dream saying, how can I make this happen? What do I need to do to, to build this dream and create this, bring it to fruition here with the Empress? This is about connections, promotions. It is about climbing the ladder, climbing the corporate ladder, climbing the business ladder, or just feeling like you're on your way to the top here. And I certainly see you are Libra, especially with these new opportunities, this new sense of clarity. I mean, this is big. Trust that that beautiful things are coming in here for you. Don't be afraid to take a leap of faith in a new direction. Try something new here. Commit yourself to things that bring you inherent value. Commit yourself to things that align with your soul's path. And you're going to see sooner rather than later some incoming news that you are either putting out there or it's coming in. This is important communication. Some special announcements here for you. Let's take a look at love. All right, we do have pay attention to the red flags. We talked about that here as well. If anyone from the past may be trying to show up 
that may have caused the tower moment. Maybe they were sneaky. Maybe they're trying to get away with things. Just pay attention to the red flags because I see that there still could be some that are highly visible, especially with the Page of Swords. Uh, the Page of Swords, sometimes he doesn't always know it's like playing that game of telephone, right? Uh, you hear one thing, but by the time it gets all the way around, the story is completely different. So don't listen to gossip is what I'm hearing here as well. Uh, don't listen to gossip or uh, immature actions because remember, you are the empress showing up here. You don't need to deal with a bunch of pages who are just talking a lot of crap. So the signs may be cautioning you this month, but because you have this clarity showing up as your key theme, you're going to see right through it. You're going to see right through any of the red flags because you've been there before, Libra. Now, for others of you, there's definitely someone new stirring your romantic interest. This does say getting to know each other. For others of you, if you're heading towards a more mature level of love here, you may be getting to know that person all over again. If someone is walking the walk, talking the talk, and staying consistent within their actions, I feel like there could be something that does come back around with that wheel of fortune. If a karmic cycle has been completed here, you may be moving into a different ascension of love with or without this person, completely up to you. But I do feel like this could be someone entirely new for you, Libra. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah. There's passion here. I see this. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I mean, the Empress is passionate. She is vibrant. She is fertile. She is ripe for the picking. So if you are looking to open your heart, what better month to do it than February? And then we do have here honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This could be around... I, we have, I think, Valentine's Day in February, but I see this could be another holiday or maybe a second honeymoon. For some of you, maybe there is, <coughs> excuse me, maybe there is something along the lines of marriage, proposal. Uh, this could be anniversary, wedding, anything of that nature. Some of you, you may feel a high level of passion for a person and there could be that honeymoon phase, that honeymoon period is kind of what I feel here, especially with getting to know each other. Okay, this could be the beginning of a new relationship and even though you're not quite sure how it's going to turn out, I feel with the swords energy, there is a getting to know each other and if there are red flags present, you're going to address them right away. All right, and lastly here... We have, how can I deepen my trust right now? So we're seeing numerous times the energy here of trust. We see it in the key themes subconsciously. We see it with the seven of swords. It says here, Libra, trust, surrender, let go of the wheel. Oh my goodness, you have the wheel. Let go of the wheel so you can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety. And when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Today is soul action. Let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Yeah, it starts from within. And because some of you, trust has been sabotaged in the past, you weren't quite sure if you could trust yourself to make the decisions that you needed to make when it comes to important life decisions I'm getting. Or maybe you, you trusted, but then you second guessed or you went back on it, right, with the memories card here. And you said, well, was that right for me? But I feel like there is a consequence. There is a lesson. And that's okay. We have those for a reason, right? There's consequences. There's reaction. There's action. There's the law of attraction, right? Uh, so you're you're attracting certain things into your life that, that maybe you need to grow, that you need to learn. And some of those lessons could be big around trust. Next you have, what am I afraid of losing? What am I most afraid of losing? Libra, what are you afraid of losing here? As we grow, change, and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was, to make room for something that will be. 
If you were to take the big scary leap today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety, or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself? Today's soul action, name that fear and look at the worst case scenario. Find a solution. Take your power back by being certain of who you are and where you are going. Today's mantra, I move forward knowing I am powerful beyond measure. I am loved, I am safe, and I belong. Beautiful. That does go hand in hand here with the Empress. And I think it even says, yeah, look at that. On the trust card, it says leap of faith. And we just heard it here, right? If you were to take that leap of faith, what would you be scared of, of losing, right? You have everything you need here within you, Libra, and that's what you're getting clear on. That's what's leading you towards this new life. And last but not least, do I surround myself with people who lift me up? This is an important one because the people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? Today's soul action, make a desire list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself and clarify, is there anyone in your life who no longer serves you? Can you love them from a distance? That's important here because this person is going to affect your energy. And I feel for some of you, you are making a conscious choice to love someone from a distance because they're not helping. They may be holding you back, Libra. I, I have to put that out there. You have this new life. You have this sense of clarity. But because I see the seven of swords here and the page of swords, I feel like there's someone that may be trying to hold you back from your greatest potential. Maybe this is part of yourself, holding ourselves back. We can certainly self-sabotage. We can cling to the things here in the tower that need to kind of uh, break free from. But I feel like you know, your intuition is bright. You are a very intuitive, bright, determined soul. And I feel like you know the answers. You know what to do here. But sometimes it's harder. It's easier said than done, isn't it? It's harder to just, you know, say that's what I want. But at the same time, our emotions or our feelings or our beliefs tend to sometimes hold us back into that state of comfort, okay, our comfort zone. Or a place of, yeah, walking down memory lane thinking, okay, if I take this big scary leap, what if it's not what I expected? What if the grass isn't greener? Or what if it's not everything that I had hoped for? But Libra, what if it's everything and some? We're actually going to pull a card. I'm going to pull a card here on the new life and wheel of fortune just to get a little tiny sneak peek. Queen of Pentacles showing up right away here. We're going to get a little tiny sneak peek of what this is all about for you. Spirit, what do we have here for Libra with the new life and the Wheel of Fortune? Just to ease Libra's worries about taking this leap of faith. Ten of Swords, you are releasing some pain, Libra. This is really beautiful. This is about you. Endings bringing in new beginnings. You don't want to hang on to that anymore. Who does? Right? This is about you know, strain that you've carried for so long because you, again, were empress, uh, empress in reverse, taking care of everybody else but yourself. And that brought, brought on a lot of burdens here. And it was a lot of weight to carry. And this is about feeling pressure, feeling suspicious, maybe being suspicious of someone that really brought out, you know, the insecurities that we talked about. That's what you're releasing. And once you release this, once this ending takes place here, it brings in the energy of new life. You know what you need to do here. Spirit, what do we have for this new life? Oh, yes. High Priestess. Look at that. Highly intuitive trust. And look at that. There's that yin-yang ba balance, that peace energy that we've seen earlier on the Wheel of Fortune. There is the confirmation. The Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. This is fate. Two major arcana showing up here for you, saying it's, it's important to take advantage of the inner knowing. This is 
a situation that's going to turn into something quite lucrative, quite abundant. This is enjoying improvement in your relationships, the relationship with self, with your finances, with your abundance. I mean, you can't make that up there, Libra. Both that yin-yang yin -yang energy on both the cards. Take advantage of your inner knowing. That's that clarity. That's that you leading directly towards this new life right? Beautiful energy. Bottom of the deck, look at this. You have the sun, what you don't quite see coming. It may still be a little bit into the, the horizon here, but if you trust your intuition, fate and destiny are already turning that wheel here. You're heading towards the sun. This is a period of prosperity, recognition, happy relationships with a bright future. You have a bright future here, Libra. Oh, I love this. This collaboration, I love the synchronicities. Last but not least, let's get a few messages from the spirit crystals. And at this time, Libra, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from the solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And upon your exhale, I'd love for you to tune into that third eye center, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. I want you to imagine the first crystal or gemstone that shows up in your mind's eye. Now this could show up as a bright, beautiful crystal. Maybe there's a specific color or shape or size. Perhaps it's a gemstone or crystal that you're familiar with and you even know the name. Or it could be a crystal that you're currently wearing, carrying, or holding on to, or maybe even within your visual concept. Perhaps your crystals are emanating at a frequency that you can feel of love, of support, of grounding, of healing, of transformation. There is no right or wrong answer, Libra. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that are interested in the free reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your crystal or gemstones in the comment section below. And I personally will enter you into that giveaway where I draw one winner around the first of each month and post right back here on the channel. So please make sure you have hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right, two of them came out. We're only gonna read one, which is Obsidian. And I actually, uh, I see an Obsidian in my mind's eye and some of you may have felt a very grounding energy. Maybe it was dark. Some of you, this could be Snowflake Obsidian. Uh, this could be one that you carry with you, I feel like it's going to help you ground the energy. You also have orange sapphire. Some of you may be 41 years old or you may be 39 years old. Those could be significant numbers for you. And obsidian is all about observing thyself. It's about self-reflection, knowing thyself. Self-awareness means stopping long enough to acknowledge who you see when you observe yourself. The beautiful you and the you who is imperfect. We are all a work in progress. And as you engage in honest self-reflection, you will start to see what you are overlooking. The qualities you have been seeking in a partner but have forgotten exist within you. You have so much to offer. As the ancient Greek axiom goes, know thyself. To be authentic in any relationship, Libra. You have to know and love yourself just as you are. And Obsidian Spirit is here to remind you that you are awesome. I love this. Yes, you're awesome, Libra. You've gone through a lot here, but Spirit's reminding you that you are uh, imperfectly perfect, right, in every way. And when it comes to prosperity, it says, do you know your patterns? Do you know where your money and efforts go? Or is it all a big mystery at the end of the month? Obsidian Spirit's gentle message for you is to stop being afraid of looking at your relationship with money, for you have a serious tendency to underestimate your ability to manage the flow of abundance in your life, to experience the prosperity you deserve, answer the call to heal your old fear-based habits, 
fearful frugality, and gee, I hope they love me now, generosity, will not serve you on your healing journey. Any discomfort you have in looking at your relationship to finances is simply part of a necessary transition to accepting yourself as you are today, right now in this moment, and you must accept yourself as you are for healing to take place. Self-awareness is always a good thing, and it will lead you to feeling comfortable and confident in growing your abundance. Beautiful confirmation, because we see abundance all over here. You are this empress, right? We see the wheel of fortune. That is a powerful combination, and it's because you're doing the work. It's because you have a sense of clarity, a sense of awareness, and it goes hand in hand with the perspective the belief system and the self-love cards that we see showing up underneath the deck here. Now, obsidian is a glass-like volcanic rock that forms when lava cools rapidly without crystallization. There are many types, but the most well-known is black obsidian. This protective and grounding stone assists us in cleansing the energy field, as well as identifying and clearing old negative emotions or thought patterns. And this goes hand in hand with the memories and the belief system showing up here. So for those of you that do struggle with old thought patterns, especially around love or around money, then obsidian can really help you jump into this new paradigm, this new belief system, this new way of feeling about yourself, right? But it's about recognition, acknowledgement. And a lot of you have done the work. There's been a lot of self-development here. And we have orange sapphire, which is that sacral chakra. Some of you are diving more into kundalini awakening. You may be diving into the relationship with self, with others. You may be finding more pleasure and joy and sensuality in life. Okay, very powerful reading here, Libra, with three major arcana showing up, the Empress, the Tower, the Wheel of Fortune. This tower is a tower that's showing up for you, right? It is for your abundance, for your growth, for your healing, for your new life. And this is quite exciting, okay, because it's going to shatter all the old belief system that you ever thought around health, around wellness, around relationships, around who you are even. And what it's doing is it's breaking you free from any feelings of lack mentality or low self-worth or immaturity. It is about no longer self-sabotaging success and love and abundance when it shows up for you. That is what I have for you, Libra. I hope it resonates. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, comment. Uh, do subscribe and hit that bell if you want future notifications. And again, I would love to see those gemstones or crystals in the comment section below the video. Thank you so very much for tuning in, Libra. Lots of love.